So we are uh, we'll learn how to make, uh, estimate the missing rainfall data for our engage when that engage has malfunctioned uh, or due to some natural calamity has failed to measure the rainfall of a day. So for that, we, uh, there are neighboring rain gauges where uh, they were successful in measuring the rainfall of that day. But if the mean precipitation or the variance within the measured precipitation data of the neighboring rain gauge is more than 10%, then you can use this formula. This formula is very easy, very simple formula. What we have to do is you have to be you, you must have the 30 years normal rainfall or annual average rainfall. That means 30 years rainfall data and then you average that those rainfall data. So the previous 30 years rainfall annual average rainfall data of that station as well as all the other neighboring day stations you must have and also the neighboring gauge must be able to measure the rainfall of that day. If you have that those two data, suppose you have five number of rain gauges in one watershed where uh, gauge one has failed to measure the rainfall data of a single day of a day, but the 30 years normal rainfall of the G1 is available with you. Suppose it is 10. So whatever formula states P1 is equals to P31 by total number of ranges available in that watershed, that is 5 for this case. So we are using the formula that is P uh, big M. Okay. Now multiplied by summation of normal rainfall of oh, sorry precipitation of that day as measured by uh, one one of the gauges or one of the memory gauges, suppose we give it as n, sorry, divided by normal rainfall of that gauge. When you sum, it, sum this ratio, that means the ratio of the rainfall of that day divided by 30 years rainfall of that gauge for all the neighboring gauge station, then this will give you the missing rainfall data of gauge 1. Okay, so uh, let, let me explain it in a more simple manner. Suppose there are there are three gauge stations. One, two, okay, let me let it be four. Four gauge stations. Okay. So, suppose in the tier day, rain roll, uh, rain gauge 1 has failed to measure the data, but its normal rainfall, a 30 years annual average rainfall is available for G1, say it is 10. For G2 has was successful to measure the rainfall data of the tier day, and it is fine. Similarly for G3, it is 10, G4, 20. But for this P30 of all the gauges is also available. So this is like 10, this is like 20, this is like uh, 20. Okay. Now how to find the find this data? Precipitation of rainfall for gauge 1 for the DT. So just use this formula. You see P uh, this 30. We know this 30. It is 10. So 10 total number of gauge stations is 4 by 4. Multiplied by sum, you have to sum it up. Uh, Pn. So Pn will start from 1, this one. So this will be 5 
that day in for 5 and average rain for 10. For case 3, it will be 10 upon 20. For the last gauge, it will be 20 upon 20. 20 upon 20. Now, if you calculate this, it will come like 2.5 multiplied by 5 by 10 will be 0 0.5 plus we have 10 by 20, so this half, so 0 0.5. <laughs> so then we have 20 by 20, this is have one, correct? So this will be 10, okay. Okay. So this is coming 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1. 1, 2, 2.5 multiplied by 2 is 5. So this 5 mm will be the missing rainfall at gauge station 1. So this is the way we calculate or approximate the missing rainfall data. When the variance of the rainfall as measured by the memory interfaces greater than 0.5. 